Well, the, when I first started getting into artwork, like, you know, more serious, I started off by using the cheapest material, which was like, like this one, this is a paper bag from a, a, a clothing store. But I would use the uh, paper bags from grocery stores, and then I would paint the bag and, like, make cities with the wrappers. And when I first started getting serious about artwork, that's what I did. And I think it's the best way, like, recyc like to recycle, to use stuff that's, that's uh, you know, an easy access or, like, like accessible, like, for, for free. Like, you know, the, the f free materials, that's the best. Then it doesn't matter if you don't sell it or not. Like, a lot of times if you buy a, oh, <laughs> you buy a brand new canvas, you know, and you have to buy it and then you paint it and then you look at it and if you don't like it, ugh, it's terrible. It's a bad feeling. Spend a lot of money for nothing or something. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of times, I think for like people, like kids that want to start doing artwork, you know, school is good to learn techniques and stuff. But, you know, remember, don't get so involved with art school that you like lose your drive, like what you want to, like what you're trying to interpret or what you want to say through your artwork. But, no. Um, But I think that like a lot like like a lot of skateboarders they like doing grip tape and stuff and um, let me put something on this because it's bleeding. I poked myself. Hold on. I guess you can still film me if you want. Um, oh, there's a break. I think that. Uh, Yeah, a lot of, like a lot of skateboarding is, um, you know, like it's a way to like a lot of times skateboarders they want to put something down like or when they have their skateboards, you know, they're skating, they see someone, they know that hey, like you know, people that skateboard they're usually people like are not all of them. I guess some are like quiet into themselves, but a lot of times you want to put a drawing on your board like because your board when you look down on it, it's your like what you're writing. You want it to to have something to say something or. So I would always put faces or, you know, put things that I like. Yeah. And, but I think that that's where it comes from, like, the, like, the graphics on the bottom, too, are, like, what skateboarders like to, they really like to express, oh, this thing is bleeding. Where did I put that rag at? I can't believe I cut myself. I like this one a lot. It's a, a figure like holding a skull, but the skull is like twice his size. And it's like the, the like bewilderment or like the puzzle of like you know afterlife or what happens afterwards. I like this this one. And I think it's, sometimes it's good to not have any ideas what you want to draw and then sometimes it's good or to paint and sometimes it's good to have an idea. But I like this figure here too. So I think I'm going to do a few drawings and then decide and then work from, from that.